Well, we're back and you're still here on New Day. We're going to be talking about Rotary Club and what it plans to do in Osu. I'm not going to take all the fun because they're here to tell us all about it. I've got Effie Cook. She's Director of PR and Fundraising with Rotary Club of Accra, Osu, Oxford Street. And also Dr. Papula Olatunde, Senior Associate Dentist, Nightsmile Dental Center, Osu. Good morning, gentlemen and lady. And I'm sure Dr. Olatunde is also a member of um, Rotary Club, and that's why he's here. So, guys, what exactly are you planning for Osu this week? Okay, so um, every year, mm. uh, Rotary, um, various Rotary clubs do mm. projects. Okay. And one of the focus areas for Rotary is disease prevention and treatment. Nice. And so this year, our focus was on that, okay. and in particular, focused on child health. Nice. So we picked um, a commun our community is in Osu. We mm. are Rotary Club of Accra. Osu works for streets, so our community is in Osu. So we decided to focus on children this right. year. And we picked a school in Osu that um, we have been working mm. with for some time, and we are conducting a dental health screening right. in the school tomorrow morning. Okay, so that's where Dr. Ola today comes yeah. in, the dental part. So what exactly are you going to be looking out for when you meet these young ones? Basically, we'll be doing a visual examination of their oral cavity. Okay. We're trying to screen them of dental diseases mm. or infection, right. um, especially dental caries, mm. and um, probably if there are other advanced procedure we need to conduct, we'll, we'll probably refer them to the okay. practice for them to be taken care of. And um, aside the screening activity mm. and, and the treatment as well, mm. we'll be distributing some dentrifices, to okay. toothpaste, okay. Um, sponsored by Unilever, mm. Ghana, yes. And that is basically what we'll be doing. Great. I'm happy that you're talking about children and, you know, oral hygiene, because oftentimes we tend to concentrate on the adults mm -hmm. and we leave out these young ones. But if in their formative years we miss out on teaching them good oral hygiene, then they don't grow with it. So when you encounter these young ones, how easy is it for you to teach them how to practice this good oral hygiene on a daily basis? Because mm -hmm. if mommy and daddy are not doing it, it's difficult for the child to do. Exactly. So um, aside the screening activity, mm. we will take some time okay. to actually teach them right. oral hygiene practices. Okay. We will definitely show them how to do all these oral hygiene practices, mm. how to brush the okay. brushing techniques, okay. how to floss their teeth, mm. and you know the the uh, the um, advantages of all these practices as well. So definitely. We will definitely encourage them right. to, to, <laughs> to practice our ideas. The encouragement yeah. is necessary. Yeah. But if, let me come back to you and talk about fundraising and the mobilization towards the program and, of yeah. course, the number of people you're looking out for. Yeah. Um, we are targeting 300 children okay. in the community. Um, and, you know, generally, Rotary, we, are, we always have a begging ball going mm. around asking for funds. Mm. So that's primarily what I do for my club. Um, but we've been really encouraged. We've had... Um, Unilever bringing us some of the products. Mm -hmm. We've had Night Smile mm -hmm. um, basically offer us the services at a seriously discounted rate mm -hmm. because obviously um, Dr. Tunde is a member of our club, mm -hmm. but also his practice has you know put. I think it's one of the beauties about Rotary. It allows mm -hmm. you to use your vocation to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And then of course there are Rotarians who are volunteering their time mm -hmm. um, to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, some of us have been with Dr. Tunde for a while, so mm -hmm. we've learned some of the questions to ask mm -hmm. um, with, with, with the children. But primarily Primarily, um, Rotarians give their own funds, mm. but we are also constantly <laughs> looking for funds out there. Mm. So um, when we come with, a, uh, with our begging bowls, we that's what we use something. it for. That's right. And you certainly <laughs> don't want the coin. But <laughs> no. let's also talk about, I mean, tomorrow. How are you organizing these young ones? Mm. Is it that parents are expected to bring them to the venue? What time is this starting? And what do you expect them to come along with? Yeah, it's, um, we're setting up in the school. Okay. Um, the school is right opposite um, Mazera Restaurant. Okay. Okay. So we're setting up um, our stand in the school right. um, so that the doctors and nurses will be on site okay. on the premises. Mm -hmm. And so the school we're the school is facilitating the nice. children's attendance okay. to, to, to the screening. Mm -hmm. um, but also if there are children in the community who want to come, mm -hmm. they're welcome. Their parents can bring them in okay. um, um, to, to, to come and um, have their, their teeth checked as well. Nice. Um, but
but in the school itself, because the kids are there, mm. that's how. Um, it's and happening. again, it's free. I want it is to absolutely parade. free. Absolutely okay. free. So, what time do you plan to start? We're starting at eight a.m. Okay. So we'll be there very early in the morning mm -hmm. um, until we see the last child. Oh, so we'll nice! I would love to be there, but of course mm -hmm. I'll be awake. But I'll call and find <laughs> out what exactly you've been up to. Yeah. But tell us, in you know, essence, of course you're here on behalf of Rotary yes. Club. So it would be good to tell us what you plan to do in subsequent years. It's, I mean, this is the life and blood of Rotary. Mm -hmm. um, we we say that together we transform communities. Okay. Together we make a difference. Mm -hmm. And so this is an ongoing project okay. for us. Every single year we will roll out um, um, a screening program. Sometimes it's on health, sometimes it's on um, other areas mm -hmm. like children. And um, so we, we hope that this will become a first of many right. in the community, that we will uh, continue doing this every year. Mm -hmm. um, we, in the same area, we do um, child education. So mm -hmm. we do reading, book clubs, reading clubs in the same community. Right. So we have a lot of activities that we're doing mm -hmm. within the Usu community. And this is just the first of many. Mm -hmm. Dr. Olatunde, finally, mm -hmm. before we wrap up, concerning the dental hygiene, mm -hmm. when it comes to children, again, I'm sure you've had some difficulties mm -hmm. in even, you know, the examination. Just the fact that you're in a lab coat alone is, yeah, yeah, you know, scary. a scary yeah. event. So how are you best handling or planning to handle these children tomorrow? Uh, usually, oh, we will be very calm with them, and <laughs> you know we have we have um, models okay. that that could you know be simulated on site okay. so that people they'll be encouraged and right. they'll be they'll feel more relaxed okay. to be you know actually it's just a basic visual examination mm. of the oral cavity, so there's really there's nothing, nothing scary. nothing for them to fear. Yeah, yeah, mm. because it just is is a small mirror, disposable okay. mirror with mm. some little materials we're going okay. to show so definitely they should be fine mm. there's nothing scary so definitely we'll just keep definitely also at the end of the mm. examination right. there's an incentive okay. you know we're going to give them a reward oh. definitely <laughs> the free toothpaste so oh. definitely yeah. they'll be very encouraged to, to to allow us nice and still talking about health because you mentioned prevention can you just give us a few tips that parents should teach their children to do to prevent you know all these problems that they have when it comes to oral hygiene yeah basically what what, what i would encourage parents to focus on is Regular brushing, okay. yeah, at least twice a day, mm. morning and lasting before they go to bed. Okay. And at that age, it will be difficult to tell them to floss. But mm. if they, they are can. grown enough to do that, I think they should be encouraged. Mm. And at least they shouldn't miss their regular dental check. Okay. Uh, Which is supposed to be at least frequent? at least uh, twice every year. Okay. But if sometimes if they have the uh, accessibility and time. I'm sure they could do every three, mm. four months okay. because of, of the eruption of teeth right. and a different uh, pattern of growth. I think um, then regular drinking of water, mm. eating good diets, mm. fruit, vegetables, and, and reducing, reducing the sweets. Yeah, sweet and sugary <laughs> foods. I think that is very important. Right. So, and I'm yeah. sure parents out there, you've heard. Mm -hmm. But if you find our word, um, we are looking forward to our time in Osu in the community. We hope we really make a difference um, to the children there. Um, Rotary welcomes everybody. So, you know, we say our club is a very vibrant club. So everybody's welcome to visit us to see what really what we do nice. um, as Rotarians. Let me say thank you to you, Effie Cook. She's director of um, PR and fundraising with the Rotary Club of Accra, Osu Oxford Street. And also Dr. Olatunde, he's a senior associate dentist at Night Smell Dental Centre Osu. And tomorrow they'll be taking, you know, a health screening for children in Osu. Make sure if you're around the locality, you send your child there to be screened.